Uh, let me with my famine friend. Ooh, I thought I was going to say fam anymore. Okay. Still working on it. I, a wealthy wife, I like tribe and friends. Here we go. For now. How are you doing? This is Miss Sophia here at Wealthy Wife. All right. I want to start out by saying once again, thank you for joining me. I appreciate you being here. For my old school G subscribers, huge hug. My gosh, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for all the years that you have. For my newer, newer subscribers, I want to say once again, thank you. And also welcome to the world of Wealthy Wife. And for my official Wealth with Goddaughters, ladies, I appreciate you. I love you and I adore you and I cherish you. You are Definitely individuals who add absolute joy to my life, and I appreciate you. Now, before I forget, this is not going to be a long audio, just so you know. Before I forget, uh, you're listening to this audio on the day of our live masterclass in reference to Wealthy Wives World of Affluent Rich and Wealthy Men, their luxurious lifestyles, habits, and interests. For those of you that actually purchase the guide, because as I mentioned, if you purchase the guide, if you own the guide, then this masterclass is being done as just my way of saying thank you. It also offering you um, some strategies and some steps on how to actually utilize the guide in the best possible way. The one thing I really enjoy about this particular guide is it really does break down the lifestyles of affluent, rich, and wealthy men. Things they enjoy doing, things they love to read, uh, their hobbies, their interests, their thought process in reference to relationships. It's, like I said, it's a, it's a great place for you to have a chance to really hone in on some specific information. And there's quite a bit of information in, in the guide and begin to start doing your own research to begin to fear, figure out how it actually coincides with your life purpose and plans as a woman or as a man because once again this book this guide literally is unisex i have gentlemen who have actually purchased the guide because it also is going to show them how to begin to think in terms of affluent rich and wealthy and you know places they can go to meet these individuals things they should start thinking about in reference to becoming these individuals so it really is a great guide for you know men and women I'm looking forward to teaching this class because as I said before, I love having the opportunity to share with you guys information that is once again, based on reality, no urban legends, no misconceptions, no half ass truth, no fantasies, no theories. This is literally facts. These are things these individuals actually, these men do. These are places you can actually find them. And also, once again, open up your mind and your world to new hobbies and interests, reading material, and much more. This will definitely begin to make something that may feel intimidating to some of you less intimidating. And I'm laughing because I was actually online and I found a whole other set of resources. I can, I'm not going to probably put it, in, I don't know, I, may, I probably will want to be expanding the, uh, the guide because I keep running across more information that I find interesting because I said before, this is my space. This is what I enjoy doing. This is the, these are the individuals I spend time with. This is my space. So I always love finding more and more information about things to do and places to go. And yeah, it's kind of fun. So if you have purchased the guide, I sent the link out to you. You should have received it. It was emailed out to all of you. If you are still interested in participating in this particular live masterclass, remember, you must have the guide. So if you have not purchased the guide yet, go ahead and click on the link. Uh, you have up until about 145. I'll be checking emails. Be checking emails to see if any new people have come in so I can actually give you, like I said, because there's also a workbook that comes with the guide. So I'll make sure I get the guide to you as well as the link so you can actually join us. It's going to be a great class. It's a combination of, of you know, goddaughters, active in the academy. I think I have some um, alumni that's coming in for this particular class as well. International women ladies are coming in. I have women coming in that are brand spanking new as well. And there may be a gentleman joining us as well, because as I mentioned, men actually do listen to the YouTube channel. So we shall see if he's going to join us or not, because I did have somebody email me a uh, quite a lovely email, which I'll probably share a little bit of it, maybe in the next audio. I do appreciate that men listen to the information that I share. Be, and he puts it best because it gives him a deeper understanding in reference to also women, what he's thinking about, how he wants to interact with them in reference to also his process as he begins to, you know, as he is elevating and becoming the, the man that he desires to be. Once more, I love what I do. So I want to make sure I put that out there before I forget. Class is today. 
2 p.m. to 4 p.m. ish Eastern Daylight. I always put Eastern Daylight because I live in a state that actually practices daylight savings. And I realize now, so we're the oddballs. Because there's Eastern Standard, there's Mountain, Central, all kind of time zones going on out here right now. But I'm Eastern Daylight, so I have to put that out there for those of you to make the adjustments. I look forward to seeing everyone. We're going to be a great class, so make sure you guys who are attending class have your pen and paper handy, which the goddaughters already know. They already know they come to class with pen and paper. So if you're going to be a new student for this class, make sure you have pen and paper. I will definitely share information that you want to write down because as we are continuing to move forward in desires and dreams, and once again, if this is something you desire to do and these are men you desire to meet, then this guy, this class will definitely benefit you. Now, let's get back to the topic for a second, because I was laughing. I saw something on Instagram. I think I mentioned it the other day where they're saying people now are finally they're finally burned out on dating apps, dating websites, dating apps, which is understandable because of between the catfishing and the lack of personalities. And, you know, everyone's trying to do everything too quickly. It's just it's too much. It's too much. Once again, folks are trying to turn, you know, online dating and to long-term relationships which is which is possible if you go to the right websites because some of those online dating sites literally are built for you know meeting people to establish long-term relationships but most of the ones that people were going to recently especially some of you youngins were not there are websites that were literally designed for the hookup that's what they came about for they were they were designed for hookups so now with everything going on and folks finally desiring to take a deep breath i love that folks are going back to what does it call it irl in real time i'm excuse me in real life i'm sorry in real life i love it because once again i'll say this again if you desire especially in my space moving into the space of affluent rich and wealthy the best place to get to know this gentleman is where they are where they live, where they exist in their day-to-day -day routines, have a chance to actually see them, how they move, how they talk, how they interact with others. Events are fun. Events can be a great place to meet people, but once again, you have to have great social skills and you need to have a purpose and a plan as to why you're at the event. But if you're just experiencing somebody in day-to-day -day activity, while you may not speak to them every single time you meet them, in due time, you start to be, build up some, at least the ability, how can I explain this? People become accustomed to seeing you, which makes it easier for people now to begin to talk to you, build out conversations, have these experiences, because you can ask questions. I, I'm the queen of questions. We know this. If I'm not sure about something, I'm going to ask. If I'm unfamiliar with something, I'm going to ask. If I don't know something, I'm going to say I don't know. Tell me more. I said before, I'll strike a conversation standing in line at the grocery store just because I can you know sometimes those lines are long and you know if you catch somebody just keeps turning around looking at me i'm like oh he was and sometimes men are shy ladies you know sometimes they're shy they need a little encouraging encouragement a little bit so being an you know a friendly face a friendly smile a little, i remember i've got a whole book you know what is it the the ebook the uh, they're not ebooks they're guides um flirtatious fun the ultimate guide to charming anyone that one has so many tips and things you would actually do that are just little, little things you can do that allow someone to know that you're interested in them or to start to once again build out that, that, that warmth to build a connection with somebody. It is so fascinating to me. And I really am enjoying the guys. I've got some other ones coming out. I'm going to be building on the wealthy wife after uh, the world of what is it, wealthy wife's world of after rich and wealthy men. There are at least two, one to two more guys that will be part because it's part of a series. Actually, I probably should have put that on there. It's actually part of a series um, because there's some additional things to go. But I didn't want to put off the additional ones until you guys have a chance to really start, you know, delving into this one. And then deciding where you want to go because what activities are going to sound good to you. What act, You may be doing some of these activities already that are in this book. But I promise you there's plenty that you have not started, haven't even thought about. So once you begin to figure out what you desire to do and how you want to grow out your particular social calendar or your strategy, so to speak, I have, like I said, one, potentially two more guides that will be part of this series. And I'm looking forward to sharing them because this is fun. This is fun. Gives you a chance, once again, to finally demystify. 
and understand that, yes, this is doable. And because we're also going to be discussing some of the men, because I said before in the book, I actually include, I think, I think there's 10 of them different industries I included in the book. So we're going to be discussing this as well, because figuring out where people go, what they do in their wise. And then you can figure out what you're doing in your wise as well. Why do you desire to have more affluent, rich and wealthy experiences? Whether that's dating, lifestyle, whatever. Why is that your desire? Really, write that down. Write, write it down. Write, get pen and paper out. Matter of fact, anybody in the, for you newer and newer subscribers, anyone who's been following me for a while, they already have pen and paper handy, just so you know. They already have pen and paper out. Because for those who actually take the time out to listen to the whole video, the whole audio, because sometimes there are videos, but mostly audios, they take the time out to listen. There will be there are things and points I make throughout the course of the audio that will either offer you some information that's useful that you can use now, or it's going to be something that's going to put you in this place of now thinking a little deeper so that you can start planning your next steps and your whys. My goal is always to assist you. Like I said, I enjoy what I do. I feel very, very fortunate because I am literally doing my purpose. And there's more to come. I'm not going to say I am nowhere near shared everything with you guys. But this space, I love this space. I love, I love, I love this. So... Why are you here? Why do you desire this? What experiences have you had thus far? Pen and paper. What experiences have you had thus far? What did you enjoy with the experience? And just let's go three. I, three is a big thing. I always choose three for a reason because it's just an easy number to work with. And it's also a very spiritual number. What? Okay, so if you're in the space of affluent, rich, and wealthy dating, what three things have you enjoyed thus far? And why? And if you're new to it and haven't started anything yet, why do you desire it? Why are the top three, three, top three reasons why you desire to do affluent, rich, and wealthy dating? Or romance or marriage, whatever. Now, for those of you who actually experienced it, what, okay, and you know why you enjoyed those three experiences, maybe what are two or three experiences that didn't quite go right? Let's go three. Three experiences that you kind of went, ooh, that did not go as planned. And why do you think it may have gone astray? And for the three things that went astray, what would you like to know and learn that will actually help you avoid or minimize that situation in the future? Because sometimes it just, you know, eventually you'll, you'll learn how to avoid the situation, but sometimes you just might want to minimize it just because there are some learning lessons in the experience that you will, it will be beneficial for you. So, but those three things. Now, for those of you, once again, that are just beginning and you know the reasons why you want to do it, here's your three questions. Here's your questions. And what's preventing you from doing it? Because some of you are sitting on the sidelines watching, 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 watching. What are you waiting for? I said it again. Your life is passing you by. What are you waiting for? We don't get our time back. What 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 what's the hold up? Because you can start from anywhere, and if you lack resources, as you know, money, then you can read. You can uh, YouTube can be useful to a little bit. Hang on a second, but you need to really understand what you're listening to and who you're listening to. Because there's a ton of information out there. And some of it is just majorly incorrect. Other is just, it's limited because the individual sharing it, they haven't advanced beyond their particular status. And because once again, some folks don't want to. And once again, no shade being thrown. Some people, they're very happy at their particular level that they're living at. And that's wonderful. They have found where they're, where they're, they're happy. Some of them are going to teach you, try to teach you guys things that will get you kidnapped. Oh, I've seen some stuff on that one. Wow. I've seen some things. Social media can be a blessing or social media can become your nightmare. You have to understand what you're looking at and your wise. Because sometimes people get so caught up in the pretty pictures and, oh, she's on a yacht or she's doing this. And none of that looks so glamorous. And I'm going to say this again. Some of them are bait. They're not what you think. You must have discernment. This is once again why I'm here still doing what I'm doing. You must have discernment. How do you learn discernment? Well, 
If it looks too good to be true and it sounds too good to be true and it sounds like it's going to happen too fast, it probably is too good to be true. Folks promising they're going to be able to, you know, have you go across seas and meet some rich man. He's going to pamper you and spoil you. Don't do it. Don't do it. Just saying. Not everything that glitters is gold or is safe. So once again, you've got to understand how to first ground yourself. It's another reason why I'm here. You've got to ground yourself into your whys first. And then find the right education to assist you as you begin to move into this process. This lifestyle is amazing. Who you can possibly meet and will meet, phenomenal. What you will learn is endless. But you must have wisdom behind it if you're going to thrive and do it well. Because once again, I always love for the goddaughters, I for them to do whatever they desire and be happy. My biggest thing always is for their joy, for them to experience true joy. And that comes from knowing thyself and once again, understand what you're doing in your wise. And doing it with a system and a strategy in place it makes a big difference. It really does. So I want you guys to think about those questions. Think about those questions. And I'm going to put this other final question out and you guys can actually email me this because I'm going to say it again. The comments, I only see the first comments that come in on a video. I don't see anything that comes in after that. So if you, I would love to know what three things would you like to learn about in the space of after the rich and wealthy dating or living, meaning how to meet people, how to have experiences, what things you might be looking to learn. Three things. Email it to me. I'll take a look at them. I'm sure most of them are going to be covered inside the things I teach in the academy, but I'm always curious once again to understand what you guys are looking for in your whys. So if you could share that information with me, I would really appreciate it. Just email it to me. Email it to me through the uh, YouTube. It goes to a specific email account, so I don't need to tell it to you. Just wherever it says you email, send me an email, just send me an email. Three things you'd love to learn about. And that's all for today. I guess it's going to be a short audio. Have an awesome day. And once again, for those who are going to be attending class with me this evening, excuse me, this afternoon, I'm looking forward to seeing you. We are going to have a great time. And for those of you that are waiting to the last minute to join the class, um, you got to 1.45 p.m. Eastern Daylight. So I don't know what that time is in your time zone, but stop waiting. Go to your copy of your book so I can get this information to you. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.